ask Tom on home show. Lori from DeWalt, Texas has a question about a water hammer. It's, that is up um, north of Plano. Just do north oh, of Plano. Oh, almost That's where to Oklahoma. Is. Yeah. Well, a far piece from there. But anyway, okay, Lori. Well, it's, Lori's here in Hammers. It's close. She's, she's here in Hammers, <laughs> yes. Tom. She says we hear them yes. when we when the toilet shuts off and when using the utility uh, tub in the garage. So this is new. We have water arresters on our washing machine, but it seems to be making more of a, a racket as well. And the arresters are in place. So looking for suggestions to solve this problem, just... Something new for her honeydew list, I suppose, here. Yeah, when, when you mention the toilets and everything, when it shuts off, it starts banging. The arresters don't do anything with that. In fact, quite frankly, I take them off because it does put some water restriction on there. And they actually make different kinds of noises, too. And there's no reason for it to be on a washing machine. I don't know why anybody would recommend that you do that, so I would get rid of that one. That's for hoses that are out and stuck in a, you know, a flooded pond or something like that that potentially could have water come back, but not in a washing machine. So get rid of those, and if that stops it, great. But a water hammer usually is uh, eliminated by turning the water off to the house, draining all the pipes and letting it all fill with air, closing all the valves after it's drained, and then turning the water back on. And that way you have these shock absorbers that fill with air instead of water because when you turn water off, it creates a huge amount of pressure in those pipes. And if it doesn't have somewhere to absorb the energy, then it's gonna start banging the pipes really badly. So usually uh, just doing this will, will solve the problem, especially if it didn't happen before and it was slowly coming to you, it was slowly filling up. But you have these 18 inch uh, pieces of pipe throughout the walls in the house. They're full of air. And when you turn the water off, what happens is it forces the, the energy up into these things and it's pushing against the air pocket. And it's finally, you know, slowly absorbing the uh, energy to where it's not banging the pipes. And if they get full of water, it is nowhere to go and it starts making the pipes move. So drain the water, uh, excuse me, turn the water off, drain the water. Open all the valves to make sure all the air goes in. Close all the valves. Don't leave them open when you turn it back on. And then force all the air back up in there along with the water. You will get some spitting at different faucets when you turn it on at the beginning because it will take the excess air out, but that's not a problem. Now, I listened carefully, but I didn't hear the thing I was listening for. Um, what? Life is good, and all of a sudden you get an air hammer. Where did it come from? One of two things. Sometimes they slowly build up. Uh, who knows why and you know you get a little bit you ignore it you ignore it you know how you ignore the noise in your car until it gets really loud and all of a sudden you decide to go to the mechanic but it's been a slow build up the other thing is if you've had some work done on your house and they had to turn the water off to the house a lot of people experience after a freeze because we always tell them turn the water off drain the pipes then when you go back you know and the freeze is over or you're going to be using it during the day turn it back on they start getting water hammers it's because you're draining your pipes, you're turning it off, or you're doing some plumbing work on your house. And that usually is the major cause, but sometimes it will just slowly happen over time and build up to where it doesn't have to be all the way filled, but it has to be so compressed that it starts to rattle. All right. You want a question? You want to get your rattle unrattled? Tom will go. do it. He'll do it gently. He'll shake and not stir. Click on the Ask Tom button there at homeshowradio.com, and you can send us a video. You can send us a written question, but you'll fill out this form, attach pictures if you want, because that helps us. Because we post a new one of these every day. We put them up on our Facebook page, post them on our YouTube channel, where you find hundreds of hundreds of videos on there. Lots of questions answered. Um, and, of course, we post them every day at homeshowradio.com.